Hello, welcome to the first lecture. So this lecture we are going to study about dependency management. You heard it right, dependency management. So dependency management is managing the dependencies. So there are two terms here. So we will first understand the terminologies and then we will understand how these things are done and where dagger comes into picture for doing these things. Okay. So first I will list down the topics that we are going to study in today's lecture. So the topics will be like this. We will study about dependency management. Then we will study about the concept of inversion of control. Then we will study about dependency injection. And then we will study about creating dependency framework for our own. And then we will study about the history of Dagger 2. Okay. So are you all ready to start with today's lecture? Okay. So we will start with dependency management. Dependency management. Okay. So first question is what is dependency? What is a dependency? What do you understand by a dependency? Okay. So uh, suppose you have a class also we have provided you with the five project for learning dagger. Okay. So in those project I am referring the classes from those projects only. So you have a class called main view model. And main view model requires two other classes. Okay. These classes are database service. And network service. Now, in order for main view model to function, it requires database service and network service. Okay, so this class cannot function without these two classes. Or we can say that when we create these classes, these classes are also get created. Okay, so these two classes are dependencies. Okay these two classes are dependencies for main view model because main view model depends on them okay main view model depends on them so that's why these classes are called dependencies so basically dependencies is nothing but the class instances which are required for any class to function okay now so now we can understand what dependency is. Let's understand what's dependency management. So basically there is management. We are managing the dependencies. So basically how dependencies are created, where it is passed and how it is passed. All these things come into the dependency management. Okay. So why it's important to consider managing dependencies. Okay. So for that you need to understand that what are the various ways in which you can create the instances of the classes and provide the instance to the class that requires it. Okay. Then you will understand that why this is a thing to manage why we are managing the dependencies that is why we are managing how these classes are created and how the class which requires the dependencies that is class instances need to manage their creation process okay so we have a use case in our in the project that i have provided so we'll take that use case to understand this dependency management so the use case is like this you have my application okay this my application is there in your project and you have my main activity okay now 
main activity requires one class which is dependency because it requires the instance it is a dependency main activity it has a dependency of main view model okay main activity depends on main view model to function so main view model is a dependency for main activity okay and main view model requires two classes okay database service and network service okay so now database service has its own dependencies okay and it depends it requires database name and version okay network service requires dependency that requires an instance of api key okay so this is your requirement okay so we have an application class we have main activity which requires main view model and which requires database service and network service okay so let's now create the structure for this use case okay how should we design our classes so first design approach one okay so design approach one so here we will think about how to create the structure for these classes so you can refer to this project learn dagger okay stage 0 okay stage 0 without dagger okay you can refer to this project which has been provided for this design okay so basically in this design okay what we are going to do is okay so we're going to create i'll just use this part only okay when main activity on create is called main activities on create method is called okay then what we will do we will create a new instance okay we will create a new instance of main view model okay and when the constructor of main view model is called when when we are creating in the on create of the activity new main view model so this will call the constructor of the main view model when the constructor is called in the constructor we will create the instance of new database service and new network service instances of database service and network service we will create in the constructor of main view model now when database service constructor is called then we will provide the name in that constructor for database name and version similarly when the network service constructor is called we will provide we will assign the api key variable with the api key that we want to use okay so when on create is called new instance this is called main activity main view model is called when the constructor is called database service and network service instance is created and when their constructor is called their database name and version is set and similarly for network service api key is set okay this is our first design approach that we will follow so this will work okay you can work with the, this, this design your application will run fine but what are the problems associated with this design okay the first problem is configurability okay what do you what do i mean by configurability is that if suppose database name I have to change then I will have to go to the database service class 
and then change the database name okay so any change requires that i have to go into that class physically and change the code base so database name that we have hard coded in the database service constructor makes database service less configurable that is we cannot from outside change the database name for example okay now there is one more thing suppose you want to you have an sdk for your project so you have an sdk sdk is something that you ship to other company for example you come your company has some service okay for example your company has a service like uber so you will provide the sdk to for example google g maps which will use the sdk to book your cabs okay so if you have an sdk for your application and your application also on the on the play store so now suppose sdk requires a different for example database name and your application requires a different database name okay suppose it requires database name abc and it requires xyz okay so now you need database service to work with two for example database name now since when the constructor only you are setting this so you won't be able to achieve this so it is not configurable to our requirement now this is also expensive okay what do i mean by expensive database service and network service are generally a expensive resource in your application because the size of heap space it takes is larger okay so if you try to create new instance of them each time the activity is launched so you will have to create a new instance again and again and that will take a large amount of your heap space okay so you do not want to waste your either your garbage collection cycles so which will slow down your application you will know you will read about garbage collection later in the bootcamp so you don't want to slow your application at the same time you want to keep your application these services these things to be created once and reuse it later so this is expensive solution that we have provided so we have got all the all these problems now now we have to see that and this thing is also called reusability okay that is you want to use the database service same class with two configuration so you can reuse the same class if you have designed that in a better way so this thing is also called reusability so now and one more thing here is that it is difficult to test okay so you will have a testing class later in the bootcamp so basically in test what we try to do we try to see, like provide different names to database name for example a different name and then test this class if it works properly with different configurations okay so it is again difficult to test now we'll try to solve all these problems with a better design okay so now you can see that why it is important to understand that how we are creating and where we are creating the instances so basically this is what managing the dependency means so a better management will provide a better solution so we will provide a better solution for this okay so dependency management is really something that you should consider when you are designing your application because with time a lot of code comes into your code base and becomes unmanageable okay, later on so it's important that you pay attention to it from the very first day you are writing your architecture okay so now we will see a different approach for this design so now we are going to take design approach 2 
okay in design approach 2 what we are going to do is make the main view model configurable okay so here let's think this way you have got main view model again I am drawing this you have got your network service your database service okay. and network service requires an API key database service requires database name and your version okay okay so now earlier what we were doing is that when when this constructor was being called we were creating these instances okay so instance creation was from top to down that is when main view model was created these classes were getting created inside and then api key was provide was being assigned inside the net network service okay similarly when database service was created database name and version was getting assigned okay so now what we are going to do is when we require to create main view model first was top to down now we will follow bottom top approach okay so now we will follow this approach that when we require to create the instance of main view model we will first create a string for api key okay and then provide it to then we will create a network service and provide this instance to the network service that is we are reversing the direction of creation okay now network service is not creating the api key api key is first created and supplied to network service in the constructor okay in the constructor we are supplying the api key now similarly database name will be first created and passed in the constructor of database service similarly for version also okay now after both of them are created your database service will get created similarly now we want to create the main view model so your network service will be provided in the constructor of your main view model and similarly database service in the constructor so now you see that direction is reversed it means that now we are components are not creating dependencies by itself but it is being provided with the instances or dependencies when they are getting created so this is this reverse direction of instance creation is called one term and the term is inversion of control okay or ioc so this is an inversion of control principle this is just a fancy way of saying that if any class requires any instance to for its dependencies or in other words now we understand dependency meaning any class dependencies are provided to that class from outside that is that class does not create the class do not create its own dependency its own dependency okay class do not create its own dependency dependencies are provided from outside okay so this inversion of the process of the control of creating the instances is called inversion of control and this inversion of control solves our problem of configurability that now database service is provided with the api key from outside so suppose our sdk requires an api key different api key for example so we'll create network service with that api key if our application requires network service with a different api key we will provide it from outside so now this become reusable and because it becomes configurable so 
inversion of control that is providing these things from outside through the constructor. These are provided in the constructor. So it becomes a better solution. Now, so we have solved the reusability and configurability part. Now let's solve the, the expensive resource part. Okay. So basically main view model will be created each time your activity is created, main activity is created. But network service we do not want to create each time okay? because they are expensive. So we will try to store it once it is created. So for doing that we will use the application class. Okay? Design approach 2, you can find this solution provided in the project, okay? Now, so what we will do is in the my, my application, okay? The my application, when it's on create is called, okay? we will have two variables to store the network service I am writing shorthand here NS for network service and DS for database service so my application class has two variables that stores network service and database service when on create is called your network service is provided with a new instance of the network service and similarly new instance of the database service and they receive for example API key here and it receives the DB name and version here okay so now when application is created we have created our network service and database service now when the main view model is will be created we will use these instances in the application okay we will use these instances in the application to pass into the main view model okay so each time a main view model is created we will have this liberty in our main activity when main activity on create is called okay main activity on create is called we will access from the activity application instance okay it has get application okay we will cast this get application into my application writing shorthand here and then we will access this for example network service and database service and we will provide it to new main view model instance I am writing again short and here in new main view model in the constructor will pass the network service and database service which are required for creating the instances. So each time the main view model is created that is activity is launched we are not creating the instance of the network service and database service but using the application okay. So this way we have simplified we have solved all the problems okay. Now, now one more thing here is with this solution you will find that there is one potential solution a problem is that what is the problem here problem here is that again your my application and your main activity they are creating the instances in on create okay so in version of control says that all the dependencies should be provided from outside not created by that class itself so they becomes less testable okay they are not very good in testing so we will try to solve this problem now we have solved our problem but this problem remains that my application and main activity is creating its own dependency
so a better design we should lift out from these components okay so till now i hope you must have understood that how we evolved our solution okay by using the creation lifting the creation out of the classes okay and we are using constructor to provide the instances that it depends upon from outside so now we will see our design approach 3 so these concepts will help you understand dagger that what dagger is actually doing for you so that you will know that what is the requirement of a dagger in your project okay So now we will see the design approach 3 okay you can find it as in the project learn dagger okay stage 2 without dagger better better okay this is the project you have access to this project so this code which i am discussing is in this project okay so let me ask you a question okay the question is application activity okay fragment services except for fragments okay do you create these classes when you write your application okay so are you responsible for creating these classes that have you ever written like new main activity in your code base ever think about this so so let me give you the answer that these classes are created by the Android system. Android OS, I can say, okay. Android framework code that is running or Android OS. System is responsible for creating these classes. You only request the system for creating instance of these classes, okay. So the system manages the life cycle of these classes. So you do not have access of the constructor okay you do not have the constructor access for these classes okay so you cannot do the dependency provide you cannot provide the dependencies that is the instances they require from outside through the constructor okay so this is a major setback to apply a better solution for dependency management so in order to provide a solution for it we will think out of box okay we will think differently okay so now uh, there is one more fancy word a term that i will discuss is injection okay so injection is nothing but simply saying that you are providing dependency from outside Okay. Suppose, suppose for example, your main view model. Okay. This class in the constructor takes the network service. Again, writing shortened here, database service. Main view model requires network service and database service. You are providing it from outside. Okay. So this you are providing in the constructor so this is called constructor injection constructor because you are passing in the constructor and injection is a just a term which means you are providing it in the constructor okay now suppose you have my application okay my application class has got two variables okay and they variables variables are called network service for example okay and database 
service. These are the variables which is of type network service, database service. Okay. Now suppose my application on create is called. Okay. And this ask to some external agencies, this ask to someone that provide these instances that is create this instance and provide me to so setting up the variables in a class is called field injection field means variables okay so if you are supplying an instance to a variable this is called field and since you are providing it is called injection so you have two modes by which you can provide the dependencies means instances one is by constructor and one is by field so this is called constructor injection and this is called field injection so these are just two terms of saying that you are how you are providing the instances okay so this was the terminology that we will that will come into play for this solution now Now we know that we cannot create these classes, we will be just provided with a callback in onCreate for example, in, in onCreate of these classes, we will be providing, we will be provided with a callback, then you can understand that our class has been created. So in the approach 3, what we are going to do is, we are going to create another component which I am calling it dependency component ok so you can call it anything that you want the name is not significant but it relates to dagger so I am creating one class I am calling it dependency component ok you can find it in the di package of the application okay now what we are going to do is we will have a solution where we will lift out the the capacity of or the we will provide the dependencies for application and activity from outside okay so suppose this is your my application okay this is your my application instance this is your main activity this is your main activity instance now my application has two variables that we just saw okay so we it has got one application one variable which is network service okay I'm writing shorthand here and database service main activity has one variable which is main view model I'm writing shorthand here main view model now my application requires when it's on create is called it requires network service and database service instance so we will create another class call it dependency component okay so this class is dependency component the role of this class is when on create is called i am writing one method method is inject okay again you can name it anything i have named it inject in inject it takes my application instance writing shorthand here and there is another static method inject that takes main activity instance okay so there are two methods which takes my application instance and another inject method which takes main activity instance okay when inject when application is created on create is called then this will call the dependency component dependency component dot inject 
and pass itself okay now this component what it will do is it will then create two instances of network service it will call new network service instance and new database service instance okay this will create these two instances and set these variables okay it will set these variables it will call through this it gets the reference to the application it creates these two classes and set for example my app dot network service equals this instance and similarly database service this instance okay so now application is getting dependencies from outside for that it need to call a static method for this class similarly for main activity it has got method inject okay this inject dependency component dot inject pass the instance itself okay when this is called now this component knows how to share the dependencies okay so it will using the instance of the activity it will call call get application and have the reference to my application instance okay so this will call this my application here and it will ask from this access these variables through the instance and then it will create the instance of your main view model okay in main view model the instances which are available in the my application will be provided to the main view model and then finally this instance will be provided to the variables which is in the main activity and it will set this variable using this instance okay so now my application get its dependencies from outside and main activity gets its dependency from outside and now singletons are maintained in the my application so now i have mentioned one term singleton so let's understand singleton in brief singleton basically means one instance for application lifetime okay till your application is running you will have only one instance of for example network service okay so this is called singleton singleton can be created by two methods one using static variables if you you if you store something as a static reference it will be loaded when your class is loaded and it will remain till your application remains okay and another is provide a variable store the instance in your application class my application class store that instance so it will be available till the application lives so this is called a singleton okay so now this component knows how to provide the singleton to the main view model and how to provide main view model to this activity so this component solves the problem all the problems for us okay so now now you would be convinced that in order to solve for provide a better dependency management system you need to create this class dependency component and for your information i am very happy to say that dagger does exactly the same okay it creates these structures for you so that you don't have to create this structure by yourself you don't have to write how you are creating it and how you are send you for example sharing the instances between the classes all these details are handled by dagger so dagger is really helpful in now you just have to define your application your activity your dependencies and how they are created through dagger and everything will be managed by it so it greatly reduces the the pain point of creating this structure okay
and one more thing dagger is not difficult but what it is it is just different okay since it's different you need to understand you have to think about it differently so it may appear difficult but as time will progress you will find that it was very simple and it was just different okay one more information is that application for example the project you have got you will find these classes dagger application component and dagger activity component okay when you first open your project you will not find these classes okay for that you will have to run build you have to build your project when you build your project these classes are generated at build time so you'll get back get these classes okay so now we have understood about first we started with a design where everything was being controlled by the class how the instances will be created that was a problem with configurability and also with testability then we solved first problem by providing everything from outside for your for your network service database service and your main view model from outside so it through the constructor it solved the problem of configurability and they become testable also but my application and main activity remained with the original problem so we created another class called dependency component and when they are created they ask the component with the instances okay so now we have lifted everything apart from our application for creating and managing the dependencies dependency means instances which are required so for this we have dagger which does everything for us so now we will start with dagger i hope you all are excited to start with dagger so first we will have a brief history of dagger to understand why dagger has become popular in our our development and what problem we have historically faced with the development that led to the development of dagger okay so we'll start with a dependency injection or dependency management start with java beans okay so i'll just provide the brief introduction so that you can you can understand why dagger evolved so java beans used to create this dependency component through xml okay and this was used in servlets okay for a web apps it was used now since it was in xml it would the configuration had to be written manually in the file so whenever configuration changes you need to modify that file so it was very difficult to configure configure issue okay plus so it was very difficult to configure then in order to solve this problem the google developed juice okay now everything was done without xml but it was using reflection so what is a java reflection java reflection is a way provided by the java so that for any class we can access the methods definitions of variables every property of a class we can access at a run time okay so that is the reflection this is in the java language okay so this is developed by the google 
Now, this framework has problem that for creating the dependencies, in order to figure out how the dependency component will create, it has to create many different subclasses, many different classes components it had to create. So whenever there was a crash, the stack trace was difficult to read. Stack trace was difficult to read. Okay. Also, this everything was done at the runtime. So you do not know that your configuration is successful or not before you run your application and meanwhile it crashes. So in order to solve this problem, okay, runtime crash. In order to solve this problem, square came up with dagger one. Okay. So it use reflection only for instance creation okay and by square only for instance creation it was using reflection for everything else it was using uh, annotation processing annotation processing basically does what reflection does but at build time okay so again the problem was that runtime crash because instances was being created at runtime so it can crash at the runtime okay now we got dagger 2 okay so from the square google take it short to develop it further and here it moved everything to build time Okay, it used annotation processing only that is when your project was built, it will create all the classes for you. So it solves everything all well. So dagger 2 has really solved an ages of development. So this is a very mature framework and since it has seen the scale of Google. So it is really the thing that we can rely on. So this was the overview of the history of development of Dagger 2. So now I will see you in this next lecture. There we will understand about how to actually apply the Dagger using what, what principles are there, what classes are there in the framework of Dagger and through the code we will see how to apply the Dagger. Okay. So I will see you in the next lecture. Take care.